This week, we return to Phoenix. We visit the Arizona Biltmore, we go hiking, we go to a musical instruments museum, and have some lakefront property. Yes, we return to Phoenix, Arizona for the holidays. Uh, we have a little visit with friends and family, and uh, it was just nice. We were back for uh, just over four weeks. Yeah, it's our yeah. longest stay in the RV someplace. Yeah, and mainly uh, as much as it was great to see all friends and family, that was definitely an intention. We wanted to make sure we spent a lot of time, especially with Anne's parents while yeah. we were there. Um, but it was also a good time to do doctors, dentists, yes. legal issues, anything that we had to get done. Get my hair cut. Get Anne's hair cut. <laughs> The important, important things, things the way important things was <laughs> Anne's haircut right behind family. And then the doctor. And, and then all that other nah, stuff, whatever. Um, so it was just nice to be back in the city that we had spent so much time in. It was. We stayed in our first stop up at the uh, Cave Creek Regional Park, uh, Jimmy. Hendrix, enjoyed it. Jimi Hendrix really enjoyed it. <laughs> uh, a lot of birds and stuff to watch and got back to his desert roots. Um, <laughs> unbeknownst to me, I wasn't supposed to fly the drone and I found out why, as you'll see in this clip. Yes. Um, but since I did fly it, I figured I'd share the footage with you guys. Why not? It's a nice park. Uh, there are bathhouses and amenities. It's not full hookup. It's right. electric and water, oh, um, but it's also at uh, kind of a discounted price. It, you could find cheaper parks or boondocking, right. absolutely. It's um, in the $30 range per per night. Right, but you get a real nice, you, you have a kind of a gate coming in. Um, you're surrounded oh, yeah. by beautiful nature, gorgeous sunsets. I mean, we took some fantastic photos while we were there. And a, a quick tip, which we learned, is that you can only book a spot for 14 days. Right. But what a lot of people do is then they book a different spot for 14 days so they moved right. from one spot to another spot so they were there 28 days right. they just weren't in the one spot for 28 then also a good time to go dump and then right because there is no the spot. yeah there's no dumping so yep. that's important um, as we said we got the drone up and uh, as you see we had a little bit of an issue with the wind and more importantly pilot error <laughs> um, so you'll get to see that. So it clipped uh, the cactus, which then set me off course and hit a tree. And then it tried to get out of the tree, which by this point was upside down <laughs> and was not coming out of the tree. And that was it for the drone. <laughs> and it's been how long without a drone now? Uh, since then. So that was December. It is now currently the first week of March and I get it back today. So if we would have sent it in sooner, obviously we would have gotten it back. Yeah, I didn't want to send it in when we were in San Diego. I was still going through warranties to see if I had it was covered for, you know, being a dummy. Um, I wasn't covered for being a dummy, so um, I had to send it in. I could have gone to an authorized dealer. There were a few along the way, um, but when I called them, they said that it could take over 30 days to diagnose it, get it fixed, um, which... And then when you're on the road, that's I, a little I didn't, tough. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't going to be in any place for 30 days. And um, so sending it in and everything like that. DJI is fantastic. So yeah. we're excited for it to return. Which would be nice. Absolutely. Uh, from there, we moved on to uh, close, a spot closer to Ann's parents. It was a beautiful park, uh, part of Thousand Trails. Very um, large park. Yeah, they let me in even though I wasn't quite of age. They said, you know, you don't have any kids. You look old. Your, your, young, your, young, your young wife <laughs> has to just keep it down. And I said, okay. But it was, uh, it was a fun parking job. And, we, uh, and I got footage. And That, folks, is my husband a pro at parking an RV. And that's how you back that thing up. Um, We're not a big fan of doing this in the evening. Um, <laughs> no. But unfortunately, our 
RV was in the shop. Yeah, so if you saw the National Indoor RV uh, video that we did that posted a few weeks ago, uh, you know that we had a lot of things done. From there, we moved from the Sun City Park, which we were there for about two weeks, and we moved over to the Lake Pleasant Regional Park. It was just spectacular. Oh, yeah. uh, we got there a little early, but it gave me a great chance to teach Jimi Hendrix, who has been just begging to learn how to drive. Right. His mother doesn't want to learn to drive, but that dog is dying to drive, so it gave me a chance to teach him. Yeah, that's good. Check your mirrors. Check your mirrors. Make sure. Good, good, good. And over here. Check your mirror over here. That's good. That's good. What are your gauges at? It's not bad for a quadruped. You're doing pretty good. Gotta teach the boy when to drive sometime. Jimmy. Jimmy. Are you excited to be driving Tell now? Mommy. You're driving before I am on the coach. You're such a smart dog. Concentrated. Good concentration. Got the breeze in your ears, buddy. Man, you just look like a natural driver. While we were at Lake Pleasant, it was a short, quick drive over to one of our favorite places for Sunday brunch. The Arizona Biltmore. This morning we're at the Arizona Biltmore, which is was built in 1929. It was done by a student of Frank Lloyd Wright. So it has a lot of the Frank Lloyd Wright influences. We're here for Sunday brunch, but we're also gonna take you around the grounds a little bit and show you some sights. Um, it's a beautiful resort, so I think you'll enjoy it for sure. And the food's delicious. Their Sunday brunch is a little bit different than other places because they give you five small plate options and then the full buffet, which is nice is that it's one price, so even if you have 30 of the small plates, it doesn't cost any more. You could have three of their egg dishes and stuff like that. We'll take a picture of the menu to kind of show you. It's one price and we're excited to visit this historic spot and have some great food. Yeah. His name is Diablo. So Diablo's here to help with the pigeons? Yeah, he's here for a sustainable pest management. Okay. And he has success in scaring them away. Oh yeah, yeah we're not looking to catch them. Just, just haze them, scare them. Show them our predators around. It's dangerous to be here if he's here. And what's Diablo's wingspan? Uh, about two feet. A little over wow. Maybe. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. You're very welcome. really good mood. I am in a good mood today. We just had a fantastic time at the Sunday brunch at the Biltmore. It was phenomenal. Uh, we enjoy the Sunday brunch at the Arizona Biltmore because they really set it up out. In. They have the piano player playing which is really nice. It's normally just Friday and Saturday nights right. um, and they really lay it out both sides. And we really like the way the hot tea came. Yeah, um, that, that was, was cool. awesome. It's like a, you know, you pick your tea and then... Uh, and you could smell all of them first just right. to see if you so like we, the bouquet of want. it. Yep. And, and then you got to pick it and then they did it in a French press style. Yeah, French press was nice. That was a nice. great added bonus. Yeah. Instead of just coffee. So. <laughs> exactly. Very <laughs> nice. Eggs Benedict was perfectly poached egg. Um, it was just a traditional Benedict. There was just the slice of Canadian bacon and the English muffin. Anne doesn't eat eggs, so I ate a Benedict for her. <laughs> uh, I don't eat kale, so Anne ate the kale hash for me. Kale hash was really good. Uh, it had red peppers, uh, potatoes, onions, um, and kale. And it was really nice. It was a really nice dish, especially for vegetarians. That would be a good one to have. Um, I also ordered the rock shrimp. Uh, it was kind of a Thai dish uh, with Thai flavors. Had like a slaw underneath. Slaw underneath, uh, but the shrimp were crunchy. They were small little shrimp, um, a little spicy, but I could handle it. It was really good. Uh, she gave me a bite. It was tasty, but it had some <laughs> kick to it, uh, especially with the uh, Thai flavoring. And then they had some um, charcuterie as well as some salads, a lot of pastries, um, but the crab claws and the shrimp Delicious. Um, so delicious. Oh, I mean, it was really nice. The sushi was good too. 
Um, obviously yeah, they have it's a, Calif a California roll, mm -hmm. um, avocado roll, them and nigiri. Um, and uh, I thought everything was perfectly balanced. Nothing was heavy. Uh, everything was light flavors and. Um, I feel f I'm full, but I'm not stuffed. Like it's everything spaced out nicely, and that's the other thing. You control uh, how long you want to wait until between each course um, and it's what five featured courses five five courses. different <laughs> featured courses every Sunday right. um, so they try to go with the seasons and what's fresh and with a sweet sweet dish um, and yeah then it's one egg dish a one right. sweet dish uh, usually a beef dish a, a fish, fish dish and then um, maybe more a vegetarian dish now probably a fifth one is a vegetarian dish, which makes sense right the thing is it's one price and those are the five small plates plus the buffet. And you can have as many of the small plates as you want. And yep. it's nice that you get to sample them. Um, we kind of have been eating less, as you guys know. So we kind of divided up the five. Uh, I took the egg and took the vegetarian um, and the shrimp because of the tie. So I used to work here at the Arizona Biltmore. So uh, I know a little bit about the history. Um, it's a great resort overall we uh, had a great day here at the Biltmore and and it, it's a place that has a lot of meaning to us obviously as Andrew said he used to work here but he proposed to me here uh, more than and 20 she years said ago yes. and I said yes unfortunately the place he proposed that um, they're putting a pool they don't want anyone there. else to have they don't what want we anyone have else to propose there ever <laughs> again so maybe we should look on the positive side exactly on that. <laughs> that's it but um, it's a beautiful day uh, January in Arizona is a great time to come and w when you go to the brunch um, you can tour the grounds and just take a look and you don't have to stay here in order to partake of the brunch which we really enjoy. Yeah absolutely. At the Lake Pleasant uh, Regional Park just up the hill from our parking spot was the Lake Pleasant Discovery Center. That was a really cool place uh, especially if you have kids. Yeah they had the playground on the outside parking lot and then they had a lot of exhibits inside some animals, right. um, things that are native to that area, right. history of the area plus a gorgeous lake view. Um, so we did that when we came back from the Biltmore just to kind of walk off the meal a little bit more <laughs> after the walking around of the Biltmore wasn't enough. And see um, what predators that Jimmy may face out in the wild. Right. Like Stuff to be prepared for, <laughs> for sure. But the views are just phenomenal yeah. and we really enjoyed our time there. We got to visit with a few different people. Um, Briggs on the Road was parked there. Actually, they were camp hosts, so that was awesome. Yeah. They uh, had us and Life Uninterrupted up for a little barbecue. So uh, the three of us all got together, which was uh, an excellent time. It makes this lifestyle uh, so great to be able to meet new people that are doing the exact same thing you're doing, full-timing and exploring you know, this great place. There's a lot of things to do in Phoenix and some of those things are you could, when in Phoenix, you can go hiking. We're here at the Sonoran Preserve. You can do hiking, there's bike trails, you can take your horses, there's actually separate horse park, trailer parking. Um, you can go up and you get a good view of the surrounding mountain areas of Phoenix, Scottsdale, and all over. Uh, you get a good view of Cape Creek, and it's just a really nice place to go for a moderate or even longer hike. A lot of people come to Phoenix and they think of Camelback Mountain for hiking, and that's a great place, but it's a little bit more steep and you have to be a more advanced hiker. This one's a little bit more low key and we're gonna go and do a little bit of hiking. to a museum. Musical Instruments Museum is in Phoenix. It's really great. It really showcases musical instruments from all <laughs> over the globe. Um, and we thought that was great. They have an emphasis on every kind of instrument, not just guitars, even though I'm partial to guitar. <laughs> um, but it, it, was, it was great. They really showcase different areas, costumes, traditions, and everything like that. Yeah, it was a really great time. I got the headset 
uh, so you can be able to listen to different types of music from other countries, not just from like the, the sound States. clips, right? You can, right. Which is awesome. In the museum, they featured a lot of different uh, instruments, but they also featured uh, costumes and different things that they would wear in each country. Yeah, and kind of the history of all the instruments, also, you know, things right. that how they developed and how they became bigger over time. We also like that they showcased the marching band uniforms for the three major universities, including our alma mater. Woohoo! Go NAU! Go NAU! Uh, so that was nice to show all three uniforms, and you know, a significant part of college life is the marching band and musical aspects of it. Also, dogs aren't allowed at the MIM, but <laughs> our dog was there in spirit. You get a chance to check out Jimi Hendrix. Exactly. So we. Uh, Got to enjoy a little and we showed him all his namesake stuff. <laughs> um, but also, you know, it just shows you different regions, not just uh, countries and states and stuff, just different regions and different aspects of the music scene and things that developed over time. Another great feature, other than all the instruments from different areas, is they have an area where you get to see things like an old Nickelodeon, like a, a coin-operated player piano with drums and stuff. Also that electric thing that uh, I... Uh, and the gong. So you could play all different kinds of instruments and uh, do all sorts of different stuff. We also saw some music boxes, one of which we personally own from Anne's yeah, uh, family was, and descendants. So it was nice was awesome. to see it working and in perfect order, right. not as uh, aged as ours is. <laughs> That's true. Um, but then they also had different uniforms and costumes, as Anne said, but also exhibits for certain musicians. Um, right. So even though we'd been to Graceland, it was nice to see some more Elvis Presley stuff right. and other artists as well. Like Johnny Cash and... Um, all all oh, different people. Um, Maroon 5. Maroon 5. Yeah. You know, and different genres of music. Yeah, the is, ukulele player, great. Jake. Yep. We had a lot of fun. Yeah. We want to thank you for joining us this week while we visited Phoenix. Absolutely. Uh, we would definitely enjoy if you watch more of our videos with us. If you'd like to get notification as to when new ones are coming out, be right up here. If you haven't subscribed before, join us down here to subscribe. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up right here in the middle. We'd and if you'd it. like to make a comment, if you want to give suggestions of things we could do better or things you'd like to see from us, give us a comment right here. We like to try and reply to you as quickly as we can. Absolutely. And we're going to be having coming up uh, our six months full on the road. So we'll be having a six month review coming up and we'll even kind of tell you where we're headed next so that you can kind of give us some suggestions of places to go. Right. So please subscribe and make comments. We would love it. Thank you so much. Too many days in the darkness Without a glimpse of the light Running tired and broken and scared But I swear I'll never give up the fight